Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about typing in Python. In particular, we're going to be looking at the difference between object and any, um, and which one you should tend to use more often. However, I didn't know this, and so a lot of my code is incorrect in this, and I've gone back and fixed a few cases that I have found along the way. But anyway, let's talk about object and any. Um, they both kind of represent an object that you don't really know the type of, uh, but they have very different consequences in how the code can look because of it. Um, and let me show you a case where I made exactly this mistake, and you know, it would be nice if <laughs> my pair raised an error in this case, but it does not, as far as I know. Um, but I'll also show you how to correctly write this code. So um, a common thing that you do when writing classes in Python is to override operators on them, for instance, like equality or lesson or other operators like that. And today we're just going to define the equality operator. Uh, self and other, I'm going to leave the types off for now. And let's actually make this object initializable. Self x ints to none, self.x equals x. And we'll give it a wrapper as well. Self turn type self name uh, self x yes um, so what you might be tempted to do to write this implementation of equalities just return self x equals other dot x and in typing this you would say that the other is a C and it returns a boolean but if you were to run this against my pi virtual VM, Pip install mypy, um, then you run mypy against it. Should complain. Yeah, you can see object eek is incompatible with super type object. Uh, super type defines the argument type as object, blah, blah, blah. And then it tells you how to fix it. Um, before it didn't have this nice error message, and this error message tells you exactly, you know, how, how to fix it, which is really nice. I'm, I'm really glad that this nice error message uh, is here. Kind of spoils the rest of the video, but... It's good that it's there. Um, but a mistake that I made in the past was to change this C to just say any. Um, my brain thinking, oh yeah, well, equality can check against any other type. So, you know, I don't really know what the type is that's coming in here. So I'm just going to type it as any. And my pi is now like, oh, cool. Yeah, that's fine. However, you'll note that if we, uh, oops, Python 3-it.py, uh, you'll note now that if I compare it against some other number, we get a type error, in, well, specifically an attribute error, and this could have been avoided by our type checker. Uh, and the way we would have avoided this is by typing this as object, and you'll see now if we run mypy against this, it complains that object has no attribute x, and that's saying that, you know, we don't know what type this is, so we can't access this attribute here. So we need to validate what type it is before we can check this type here. And so what we can say here is essentially what what uh, the hint gave us up here. You know, if not is instance other C, then return not implemented. And I, I like to write things like this, so it's really easy for the human to see that these are disparate cases, but you can get rid of the else if you don't like it. Um, so now this passes type checking, and if we run, you know, uh, a C1 equals 2, uh, you'll see we get false instead of raising an attribute error. So it is it has fixed it has fixed this equality operator. And of course, if we do C1 equals C1, that works, and C1 does not equal C2. Cool, so this is the correct way to type this. Now, um, I showed you how to correctly type this, but I didn't really talk about the difference between other or between object and any. Uh, when I think about any, I think about it, it it being a squishy type. That is, you can do anything to it, and the type checker will be like, "Oh, yeah, I mean that must be correct. I'll trust you on that one." Uh, it doesn't validate anything at all. It doesn't check whether it's a type. It doesn't check whether it's an instance. It doesn't check whether it has attributes or whether you can call operators on it. It allows every operation without questions. Uh, any is basically turn off the type checker here. Object, on the other hand, is a opaque type. It means that it, you don't know anything about it. So it could have a particular attribute. It could have a particular operator. It could be a type. It could be all sorts of stuff. 
Uh, and until you have narrowed the type using is instance, uh, which tells the type checker, oh, it must be this instance now, uh, without narrowing, you can't do anything on this particular object. Um, and this can be useful in other cases, like if you're writing a, uh, you know, a, a container around an object that you don't particularly care about what that object is, uh, you could type it as, as object. This is actually very similar to what used to happen in container types in Java before generics came along. You would do, you would have array list and the things inside of it would be object and you would have to box and unbox the types. Um, which is similar to what is instance is doing here. It's telling the type checker, hey, I know that this type is a particular type. Um, so yeah, I think of any as a squishy type and object as an opaque type. Uh, opaque being like, you can't really see what attributes it has. You know, it's can't, can't see through it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the difference between any and object. Uh, in almost all cases, you should use object instead of any. However, there are, you know, it's it's unavoidable in some cases you know, what, what types you would use there. So you know, sometimes you have to turn the type checker off and just, just use any. Uh, but anyway, hopefully that was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.